What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Ultimus Beast and today I'm giving y'all a crazy top 10 worlds ranking. These are the best worlds, in my opinion, of top 10. This um, list, I think I'm the underdog in this situation because a lot of worlds that I like, most people didn't like. And I'm going to justify my reasons why I like it. Make sure y'all stick around to see what number one is because number one is going to surprise you. Let's get started to number 10. Alright guys, so number 10 out of my list is Avalon. Now yes, Avalon is a super long world. People do get tired of it, including myself, but the reason it's top 10 for me is it has so much story and the theme of it I really enjoy, even though it was dragged out longer than it needs to be. I like the uh, lake area where you see the haunted house and junk like that and the mermaid lady. I really enjoyed that section and it just the all out theme itself and all the enemies you got and the story of how more Geth, why she became evil and all that good junk and you get more of her backstory and you see Gamma and everybody, especially in the flashback. That was really cool. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed the sword that you even get at the end from King Artorius. That junk was dope too. You feel me? But yeah, it's top 10 in my heart. Let's get over to number 9. Alright guys, so we are at number 9, Wisteria. Wisteria is number 9 on my list. I took off my mount, if you're wondering, <laughs> because the animation, like the idle animation happens too often. But uh, yeah, uh, this is my number 9 spot. I really like it. Every time I create a new wizard and come to this world, I don't mind playing through it at all. And it's not even a required world, it's a side world. And I really enjoy taking a break from saving the spiral and all the jump to come to this world. And it's like a parallel universe a wizard city and it's very interesting all the schools got different names different professors and all that good junk and it's nice and friendly you feel me like sometimes you don't always want that oh my gosh everybody's gonna die type of mayhem all you do is show up into this world you gotta handle a tournament there'd be a little trouble with the world but nothing too dangerous so that's what i really like about this world it's laid back it's not even required so you can do it if you want to or not and that's what i really enjoy about it let's go on to number eight all right guys, so number eight on the list is Caramel, the new world that just came to the game, the Wizard 101. You know, I I enjoyed it, uh, even though in my review, I think I gave it like an eight out of 10 from the video review I did. Like, I enjoyed it even though it was a bit of like above average rating. It was cool, I liked the scenery of the places, I liked the references of like the candies being actual enemies and junk like that. The junk's very interesting to me. The different landscape, the scenery was good, even though some scenery places were boring. A lot of them were very beautiful places. I liked the story of it, it just the ending of the story could have been tied up way better than what happened. But I liked the story of Nana taking over and all that good junk. It, it was good, I really enjoyed it. Number seven, let's get to it. Now guys, number seven is Marley bone marley bone marley bone marley bone i really enjoy this world it actually should be higher on my list to be honest but it's so difficult this list was so hard for me to make but i really enjoyed this world of marley bone it's it's up there i really do the music phenomenal i enjoy the story the world's a bit short actually like the world's not too long not really too short either story-wise it's, it's pretty good i like the theme uh you got sherlock bones i like that reference it's a lot of good stuff in this world the enemies was pretty good it, it was a bit short like when i noticed i was playing through it on stream for my myth i noticed it was a bit short i was like oh i gotta do this pretty quickly so if you like just questing through it you get done with it in definitely no time let's go on to number six Number six, guys, is the chilly world of Polaris. Polaris is number six on my list. I enjoy this world. I think it was a perfect entrance into Arc 3 with the graduation and we having to come here. I really enjoyed it, even though it is a really short world. Like, it's not a long world at all. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the introduction of the rat being the first of the um, Spider's children. He was a cool foe to fight. He was a cool person to fight. And I, I enjoyed this world in general. I like the multiple areas it had. The scenery's pretty nice about it. I like the snow. <laughs> and I like the uh, lights in the sky. Like, just look at the beautiful lights, man. Just look at the stars. It's really nice. They did an awesome job with this world, so shout out to King's Out for that. Also, guys, another thing I forgot to mention about this world is that this world has, to me, some of the most memorable NPCs. I think I remember these NPCs the most out of, like, almost all the worlds. These NPCs I, like, connected with. Caramel, the new world, I really didn't connect with them at all. I was like, oh, okay. Like, they cool. Except for, like, Malworth. I connected with him. Like, I care about his character, but in Polaris, I care about these characters. I cared about them a lot. So that's another plus on why it's number six on the list. Let's go on to number five. 
All right, guys, we're on number five. We're getting up there. We're getting up there. Number five is Chrysalis. Now, before y'all be like, what do you mean Chrysalis? Hear me out. Chrysalis was, was, was the bomb world. If you think about it for a second, like, bro, you first come to this world from Azteca. You know, you're, you're a little bit broken. You know, you're a little bit sad from what happened. And you come here, and this world is taken over by Morgeth. A hundred percent. You come in here. You got to try to break it down. You got to break the world piece by piece so the resistance and the good folks can take control. And the scenery even changes inside of the world, which I really like. When you first like start this world, you see the freaking Goliaths walking around. And then, you know, the statues change. And then you see the uh, mouse people walking around, which I really like. And the music even changes. And another thing about this world is, it's basically like a super advanced Dragon Spire. With Dragon Spire, you came into the world, nobody knew you. You gotta sneak in here and try to get to uh, Malice there before, you know, he, he shuts it down. Same thing with here in uh, Chrysalis. You had to be on the low, basically, and try to sneak up to Morgeth. And she obviously knows you're here at some point, but it's, it's good, I like it. It's two parts to the world. It is a long world. That's why they split into two parts, but I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the world, the different scenery areas. That's why I number five on my list. Let's get to number four. All right, guys, number four on the list of the top 10 worlds is Azteca. Now, Azteca is another extremely long world. Uh, I think a lot of people didn't like the world because it was long, but you know, it. I can see why, to be honest. It was an extremely long world. But the reason number four on my list, you know, got all these parts, is because this was actually a huge loss for us wizards. This was the first world we actually just lost. We actually sat there and got defeated for the first time. From Wizard City all the way up to Avalon, we were just killing it, killing it. You feel me? Like, we were like, what, eight worlds, eight world win streak? Then this happens, and Morgeth wins and destroys the world. And it, and it makes you be like, yo, we not invincible around here. We got to take this jump seriously. And I don't know about y'all, but I felt bad when I couldn't save this world. I was shocked. I was like, yo, we, we actually lost this time? It's like the Avengers, bro. Like, what you mean we lost? What, what you mean? We, we be winning now. Yeah. You got an unbroken streak. Then this happens. And I like the scenery of it. I like the um, theme. I really like the theme. The characters are pretty cool, too. Uh, the spells you get from here is amazing. Everybody, like, you get the sharpened blade from here, which is super dope. Start learning those spells. The reason it's up there is because, again, it connects with me emotionally from you going to this world nice and bright and to the end where you actually lose, you don't make it in time. She already did what she did, and it's just raining everywhere. Let's get on to number three. All right, guys, so we are at number three on the list, which is Krakatopia. Krakatopia is number three on my list because this is the first world we actually go to outside of Wizard City. You know, this is where the game started expanding. This is where we start traveling, you feel me? See what's out there in this universe, in this galaxy, the spiral. You know, we start seeing what it has to offer. And, you know, we get, you know, to actually see the balance school, which we just seen the freaking um, student or whatever he was in Wizard City. There's an actual school here with the tree and everything. So that's pretty dope. The theme is okay. I, I rocked with the theme. It was cool. But other than that, that's really it for me. But the reason it's top three, though, is because this is where we actually start exploring the spiral itself. And that, to me, gives a lot of credit. So, yeah, let's get on to number two. Now guys, you know there would have been something wrong with me if I did not include Wizard City, the classic world, baby. The classic world, number two on my list, Wizard City, clean, nostalgic. This is where we dive deep. This is where we start to get our feet wet. You know, we, we start getting out here. We start learning what we, you know, want to learn. Fire, ice, storm, life, myth, death, balance. All the schools, see the teachers, see the trees, learn the spell, learn the history. It's an all around good place, positive energy every time I come to this world, except for the PvP arena. And I guess the Cyclops laying in all the streets where all the threats are. But it's a positive world. Love it. I love just chilling in this world in the commons area or just in Ravenwood. In Ravenwood, you feel the energy, you hear the music, you just feel the vibes of all the magic. 
that you've learned and experienced through all the years you've been playing. And so yeah, it's it's a classic world. If it's not in your top 10 list, I don't know what to tell you. It has to be, no exceptions. Let's get on to number one. Ladies and gentlemen, we reach number one. And first of all, if you made it to all the way to this part of the video, thank you so much. Number one is Imperia. Yes, I said it, Imperia is number one on my list. And I have a few reasons. For one, we had that super clean, crispy animation where we first got to this world on the ship. Is a Star Trek reference or whatever. I never watched Star Trek, but I'm pretty sure it was a Star Trek reference in it and the animation of the ship and we go into this world from the Arcanum. That was really dope. I love that 100%. Kings out there, thing with that, you feel me? And also this world with the end game of it. I was so happy with the ending that I would have been mad if that's how the game ended. If that's how the game would have ended on that note, I really wouldn't have been mad. I would have been satisfied with that. You know, because the ending, you get all the elements, all the schools rather, and you, the paradox, do you work? You do the magic, you feel me? And you fight the freaking Storm Titan. It's phenomenal. And how Spider and Raven make up, you feel me? And it's all peace, you feel me? And you, you feel like you achieved your maximum ability as a wizard, especially since you become a scion. You become a scion, you feel like you reached your full potential as a wizard. And I really enjoyed it, I really loved it so much. The ending was just phenomenal. A great ending to an arc. Maybe one of my favorite endings to an arc ever, to be honest. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. And also in the comment section, let me know what's y'all top 10 list. And like, what's your favorite world and all that good stuff. I want to know. And make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and Twitter and my new Discord, which is down in the description below. Make sure y'all stay safe and cool out there. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.